Welcome back to the Freelancers Tea Break, the short and sweet podcast you can enjoy whilst you're making a cuppa. And I'm back after a little break over the summer holidays, although you might have noticed that because um, I was batching, um, so I was a little bit of ahead. So it's great to get back into things. And I want to jump in with something really actionable. And it's about LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is one of those I know I should be posting on there regularly, but it's not somewhere where I naturally spend a lot of time, Um, whether it's because of the, I don't love the sort of interface or how uh, using it, I don't find very nice as a user. Um, And the algorithm, I find it very bizarre when you're scrolling through and you've got posts coming up from a week ago. Anyway, those are some of my gripes. So with Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, I find it relatively easy to post on there naturally because I'm already on there. LinkedIn requires me to remember to go on there. Um, And reminders, I find very easy to ignore. Joys of ADHD. So I found a bit of a hack around this. um, And I've been sharing a little bit in my newsletters recently. So you might have seen that if if you're on there. If you're not, come join us because we have tips that go out every Monday of things that you can do that week as a freelancer and then various chats topics about freelancing on Fridays. The thing that I found actually has helped me is that LinkedIn has introduced games and you might not be aware of this but they've introduced three different games. Um, They're very short games probably take usually a minute on average for me Um, and they're like puzzles brain teaser type things and they refresh every day. So I signed up around lunchtime one day to these games and it means that every lunchtime I get a reminder that the, the the new game is available to play. I really enjoy the great games because they're so short and sweet and for me the dopamine is instant there and because I first did it at lunchtime it means it pops up again at lunchtime every day for me so it, it's quite important to think about when you want to play it. You don't have to play all of them but I, I quite enjoy sort of two or three of them. So what I've now done is built some habit stacking on that so now when I get that notification that the game is available, it means I can go on and I can then say to myself, right, once I've written a post or commented on, say, three LinkedIn posts, I can play the game. So it's very much habit stacking and a quick reward system. But more than anything, it reminds me to get on there because just telling myself I need to go on LinkedIn is not enough for my brain to do it. Whereas being able to bribe myself a little bit with a game um but one that isn't going to completely distract me really seems to work so i'm just sharing that with you and to have a think about other things that you struggle to do consistently is there a way that you can either habit stack it or find a fun thing to do about it so for example if you know you need to go on facebook and uh, interact more in facebook groups maybe have some kind of fun messenger chat with with friends or colleagues where you share fun things in there but you can only go look at them once you've gone and done that facebook group posting or anything like that so have a think about how you might be able to do that if you're struggling otherwise so that's my linkedin hack to post more regularly so it might not be what you expected i tend to find once i'm on there coming up with an idea is not that difficult it's the practice of getting on there more regularly so give it a try let me know how you get on um and if you're loving the games come join me in the facebook group the freelance lifestylers or um come find me on instagram emma Cossie, and tell me which ones are your favorite um because i'd love to hear and i will have a podcast very soon actually i've just celebrated 10 years of the freelance lifestylers facebook group which seems incredible that a whole decade that group's been there and i am so passionate about that group it's a free group and i just love how everyone connects and supports each other and there someone asked about um fee rates and things like that recently and everyone was so transparent and it's just lovely to see rather than people sort of hiding what they're charging or anything like that so if that's something that you think would be useful in your life come join us and i hope you have a wonderful freelance week <laughs>